Hello, my name is Mara Cercignani and I work at Brighton at Sussex Medical School. I would like to tell you about our recent study entitled Cognitive Fatigue in Multiple Sclerosis is Associated with Alterations in the Functional Connectivity of Monoamine Circuits. Cognitive fatigue is a subjective symptom that presents itself as a chronic mental fog. Cognitive fatigue is highly prevalent in multiple sclerosis and has a substantial impact on the quality of life and the levels of employment of the sufferers. The pathophysiology of multiple sclerosis fatigue is poorly understood and effective treatment is unavailable. One of the mechanisms proposed to explain multiple sclerosis fatigue implicates aberrant monominergic neurotransmission. It is postulated that the structural damage caused by multiple sclerosis might alter monoamine synthesis and function, resulting in misregulation of motivation, mood and attention, all having consequences on the perception of fatigue. A potential source of impaired monoaminergic function is disconnection along the monoaminergic pathways. A methodological approach that assesses functional disconnection is resting state functional MRI, a non-invasive technique that evaluates the correlation between the spontaneous fluctuations of the functional MRI signal recorded at rest from segregated areas of the brain. However, fMRI has no intrinsic selectivity for any given neurochemical target and therefore its interpretation can be challenging. The recently developed receptor-enriched analysis of functional connectivity by targets, also known as REACT, is a multimodal approach which enriches the resting state functional MRI analysis with information about the spatial distribution density of molecular targets derived from PET imaging. REACT allows the investigation of changes in functional connectivity associated with specific molecular targets, such as dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin transporters. For the purpose of this study, 29 patients with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis and high levels of cognitive fatigue were included alongside 26 patients with low levels of fatigue. They all had an MRI scan and a series of questionnaires assessing fatigue, sleep, depression, and cognitive function. Functional MRI data were analyzed with REACT to derive dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin transporters enriched functional connectivity maps. The main finding of the study was that people with multiple sclerosis and high levels of fatigue present decreased noradrenaline transporter enriched functional connectivity, particularly in the prefrontal areas. No differences were found for dopamine and serotonin transporter enriched connectivity maps. In addition, noradrenaline transporter enriched functional connectivity predicts inter-individual variation in cognitive fatigue scores. Our findings support the idea that alterations in the catecholaminergic functional circuits underlie fatigue and multiple sclerosis and identify the noradrenaline transporter as a putative therapeutic target directed to pathophysiology. Thank you very much for your attention.